Welcome back people to some more Need for Speed here and yes I'm loving this Unite mod that much I've basically got back into the game but anyways today we're going to be showcasing once again the sim kid handling which yeah we've got a drift build we've got my beautiful Nissan GTR right ahead of us and yeah it looks beautiful we are going to change it up a bit i've already done the customization for the performance but i'm going to put like a wide body kit on it and that's practically it i'm going to keep the painting as it is because i don't feel like we need to do anything else to it because the paint job is something special but yeah we've managed to do a really really nice sounding engine on this one this time around yeah and yeah just please ignore my character she's she he's a bit um yeah just a bit random so i'm going to show you the performance what we've got anyway with the engine we've actually managed to get us put ourselves the ford 3.5 eco boost v6 on this gtr build because it is probably the best build for the car as well as the best sounding for this build as well and we've basically just equipped everything with ultimate parts but we've got some new parts for the car some new tires so we've got the falcon which yeah the drift tires this is probably the best for this setup but we've also got the michelin we've got toyo tires and everything so yeah it is pretty damn good with this mod i'm really enjoying it but yeah we're going to keep this as is because we've had a little gun it and it's actually pretty good we've just got to do some tweaks with the live tuning and then it will be even better so with a body right so we are going to put the rocket bunny instead of the, the liberty because i want it to be wide but i want the spoiler to be the same as it is i don't feel like this car needs a massive wing on the back trunk lid yeah we're going to change that even though you can't see too much of that tail lights we are going to have these Oh, just a standard Nissan though. These ones are better. And we are going to go for the Nissan, these side mirrors, which do look a lot better. The side skirting, of course, Rocket Bunny, which I don't know what alloys I want to put on this. Oh my God, no. Oh no, we've just got to put these on, haven't we? Honestly, the first alloys we see, and we're going to be putting these on. We need to change the size, because I don't understand why the size always does go down. The brake calipers, we're going to leave them as they are. Alloys again, they unite the rotor alloys, and then it's going to go down again. We need to, of course, put them to the maximum size, which I think the 18 inch alloys. The tyres as well. We've got some new tyres for this, which are oh, the Bridgestone tyres. Oh, I feel like we are going to go for the Bridgestone tyres. Build is going to be beautiful. Like I said, we're not going to change the bodywork on it. The paintwork, sorry, because I feel like we shouldn't have to do that because it looks beautiful as it is. We also have managed to change the stance, which I feel like we are a bit too low because we can see a bit of the tyre going through there. So we are going to turn the height. We can make it really low, but as you can see there, the tyres go through the bodywork and we don't want that. So we need to be the tiniest. Right, so we want to be here as low as possible. And that is practically it. This is our Nissan GTR drift build. The handling is very difficult. It takes some time to get used to it, but... Yeah, I feel like this build is going to be very exceptional. Here we go. So I practically just want to show off the night time on the Project Unite mod because it's very, very beautiful. It definitely looks like Need for Speed 2015 vibe. And yeah, straight out the bat, this car is just going to want to drift. But as you can see, the handling looks a lot, lot different and how the camera is positioned and it does make it look a lot lot better but you then again you do have to get used to the handling of course because since the camera looks different the handling definitely does feel a lot different but I feel like we are going to have to do a couple of tweaks to the live tuning because I feel like we are sliding a bit too much. What's that like with a bit more traction? I feel like we might have a bit too much traction now. But with the sim kit as well, you're constantly pressing your handbrake to get the back end out in the corners, which is more realistic. But I feel like yeah, this build is very, very powerful to be a drift build because it has got some horsepower on it. Yeah, but was going to lose control there. The thing about the sim kit though, you can get some really good 
angles, like really, really nice angles. So what did we get then? We got 133,000. And that was with the traction control job. We're going to turn it off. See if we can get any better. So we're practically on our own when it comes to the grip. And the car is going to slide a lot more. But less grip, more angle. More points, right? I just don't feel like we need to go too fast. Right, let's keep going. Want the multiplier up. Times four. Right, so yeah, 129,000, but it is definitely a different car when the traction control is fully turned off. So we might have to turn it up a tiny bit and then go to the course and yeah, just see what it's like there. With this build, it definitely does matter with the traction control. We pull it like roughly around the middle because I feel like the car is sliding too much around the corners and it's just making it very difficult to basically handle. So yeah, we're gonna try this build out now. Hopefully we'll do okay. Yeah. Gorgeous day, we've got three laps and we need to get 87,000. Which I'm sure we can do that. Oh, come on. There we go. Now we've got it out. Yeah, this is like... Now that one nice. So it's definitely the braking that helped us there. So maybe we don't need to do the handbrake. I feel like sometimes we do have to do the handbrake sometimes. Right, handbrake there. It's a mixture of both really, braking then handbraking. But yeah, it is difficult. Very, very difficult. And hopefully we can maybe keep the drift going. Come on. Yes. Can we have a decent run? I know we're going slow at some corners, but it can be difficult. I'm a bit wide there, but it doesn't matter. I don't think this car is cut out for this course. Never mind, look at that for a score though. Right, let's go for a drift trial here and see how well we can do. Oh my god, we're off. That was too fast. No, we'll do a bit of trade pain. Oh, we went really wide there. I didn't even think we was going to keep that under control. There we go, and just pop nature for a bit of a finish. Oh, we just missed that. Pursuit car and that pedestrian. Oh my god! And yeah, we we managed to hit a little pickup truck. So there we have it. If you actually want to try this out yourself, the link to this mod is in the description of this video. But it is only for the PC, unfortunately. But trust me, you've got to try it out. It's really good. It takes some time to actually get used to the sim cage, but it's also an arcade handulation mod as well. So yeah, just. Just check it out, all the links in the description, and if you did enjoy it, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.